Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see some important multiple choice question from the pharmaceutic, pharmaceutics chapter sterile dosage forms. Sterile dosage forms. So we will see some important multiple choice questions. The first question of this video is which of the following is true about pyrogen test? Which of the following is for is true about pyrogen test? Pyrogen test. Options are three adults rabbits of either sex are required. Five adults rabbits of either sex are required. Three adults rabbits are required. Five adult rabbits are required. The correct answer for this pyrogen test is three adult rabbits of either sex are required. Three healthy adult rabbits are required belongs to either sex it should be not less than 1.5 kilogram each 1.5 kilogram minimum should be there each rabbit and three adult rabbits of either sex are required for the pyrogen test now we will move to the next question question number two method for a particulate matter monitoring method for particulate matter monitoring options are visual method counter counter method light blockage method all of the above this is used question is particulate matter monitoring the correct answer for this question is all of the above the different method for finding out the particular matter is visual method is one then counter current method then light blockage method then filtration method is also there filtration method these are the different type of methods which is used for the particular matter monitoring now we will move to the question number three what is the maximum number of permitted limit of particulate matter maximum number of permitted limit of particular matter of size 10 micron in 1 ml options are option a 5 option b 25 option c 50 and the last option is d option d 75 question is what is the maximum number of permitted limit of particular matter of size 10 micrometer in 1 ml number maximum number is correct answer is here option c 50 if the particle size of 25 the maximum size is 25 micron the maximum number per ml is 5 if it is 50 50 micron size particle matter or larger than 50 the maximum number of particles per ml is nil there should there should not be any particles above 50 micron 50 micron or above 50 micron in the parental preparation if it is in 1 ml if it is 25 micron particular matter is there in 1 ml the maximum number should be 5 25 is or 25 or larger than 25 equal to or this one if it is this one 10 micron that was the question equal to or larger than 10 micron then it is 50 maximum limit is 50 okay 10 micron size particle or larger than 10 micron up to 25 micron it will be 50 particle in 1 ml in 1 ml per ml 25 micron 5 then 50 micron nil now we will move to the next question question number four which of the following is used as sterility test sterility testing which of the following is used as sterility testing options are membrane filtration method then counter counter method then pyrogen test then light blockage method for the sterility testing two methods are there one is membrane filtration method that is the correct answer here another one is direct inoculation method direct inoculation method 
two types of methods are there for the parameter preparation sterility testing one is membrane filter membrane filtration method another one is direct inoculation method now we will move to the next question question number 5 which of the following which of the following area should be a feature should be featured with the hepa filter which of the following area should be featured with the hepa filter options are preparation area option b aseptic area option c quarantine area option d finishing and packaging area the correct answer for this one hepa filter that is high efficiency particulate air filter high efficiency high efficiency particulate air filter which is correct answer is aseptic area aseptic area in aseptic area filling into the final container is taking place filling is taking place in the aseptic area okay the preparation is made the for the parental preparation is made in the preparation area in the preparation area preparations are made but the filling into the final container is done in the aseptic area so it should be featured with the hepa filter and minimum movement is should be there in the aseptic area there should be minimum movement in the aseptic area now the, that one uh, in quarantine area in quarantine area this is sealing and sterilization are done in quarantine area sealing and sterilization sterilization is done in quarantine area finishing and packaging area this is done labeling and packing labeling and packing is done in finishing and packaging area labeling and packaging preparation area different type of uh, uh, the material which is uh, mixed together and preparation is made in the preparation area then it is coming to filling area then it's come to quarantine area for the sealing and sterilization then in the last stage finishing and packaging area labeling and packing is done in the finishing and packing area before starting the preparation area there is one another area that is clean up area clean up area in this clean this is not a clean up area this is not a, an aseptic area this is also not an aseptic area aseptic area is this third area so hepa filter should be there in the aseptic area now the last the, uh, sixth question in parental preparation the production filling carried out in in parental preparation production filling is carried out final connect to the filling is to the final to the final container is carried out in aseptic area correct answer is filling into the final container is done in aseptic area aseptic area now we will move the most to the next question pyrogen test pyrogen test is carried out in which animal this is the question in the first question this is the same question in the first question here you can see the first question which of the following true about pyrogen test we studied three adult rabbits of either sex are required for the pyrogen test rabbits are used so pyrogen test is carried out in which animal mouse frog rabbit horse the correct answer is rabbit option c rabbit is the correct answer now we'll move to the next question question number eight which of the following reagent is used in the leakage test of parental preparation in case of leakage test for the leakage for knowing sealing is done very well or not especially in case of ampules in case of ampules reagent used for the leakage test is option a methylene blue option b phenolphthalein option c potassium permanganate option d none of the above the correct answer for this one is methylene blue methylene blue option a methylene blue leakage testing the reagent used is methylene blue now the ninth question which of the following glass should be used once only once only which of the following glass should be used once only options are type 1 glass type 2 glass type 3 glass option d both b and c correct answer for this question once only that is both b and c type 2 and type 3 glass type 2 and type 3 glass are soda lime silicate glass soda lime 
सिलिकेट ग्लास टाइप टू इज विथ हाई हाइड्रोलिटिक रेसिस्टेंस विथ हाई हाइड्रोलिटिक रेसिस्टेंस वाइल टाइप थ्री इज कंपेरिटिवली मॉडरेट हाइड्रोलिटिक रेसिस्टेंस मॉडरेट हाइड्रोलिटिक रेसिस्टेंस दैट इज टाइप टू एंड टाइप थ्री आर मेड अप ऑफ सोडा लाइम सिलिकेट ग्लास टाइप टू इज विथ हाई हाइड्रोलिटिक रेसिस्टेंस दैन टाइप थ्री इज विथ मॉडरेट हाइड्रोलिटिक रेसिस्टेंस टाइप वन इज बोरो सिलिकेट ग्लास बोरो सिलिकेट ग्लास और न्यूट्रल ग्लास दिस इज बोरो सिलिकेट और न्यूट्रल ग्लास type 1 here the answer one solely then both b and c that is type 2 and type 3 glass glasses we can use only once now we will move to the next question question number 10 which of the following is used as antioxidant which of the following is used as antioxidant for parenteral preparation options are sodium metabisulfate sodium sulfate sodium thiosulfate sodium sulfate the correct answer for this question the for antioxidant for parental preparation is sodium metabisulfite sodium metabisulfite the next question question number 11 which of the following is non aqueous vehicle for parenteral preparation the question is non aqueous vehicle for the parenteral preparation options are arachis oil sesame oil almond oil option d all of the above question is asked for the non aqueous vehicle for the parenteral preparation arachis oil sesame oil almond oil all of the above the correct answer for this question is all of the above all of the above arachis oil sesame oil almond oil can we can use as non aqueous vehicle for the parenteral preparation we will move to the next question pyrogens can be removed from the water pyrogens can be removed from the water by filtration membrane filtration simple distillation then boiling pyrogens can be removed by which of the following method filtration membrane filtration then simple distillation then boiling the correct answer for this question is simple distillation simple distillation pyrogen can be removed from the water by simple distillation pyrogens are pyrogens are by products of bacterial metabolism they are polysaccharide pyrogens are polysaccharides polysaccharides they are by products of by products of bacterial metabolism by products of bacterial metabolism bacterial metabolism that is the pyrogens so pyrogen can be removed by simple distillation membrane filtration method filtration method or boiling are not suitable for the pyrogen removal but for the pyrogen removing simple distillation you can use now we will move to the next question question number 13 in intramuscular injection that is im injection im injection im injection the volume should not exceed should not exceed dash at one side the volume should not exceed dash at one side options are option a 4 ml option b 6 ml option c 2 ml and option d 10 ml the correct answer for this question is 4 ml for the im injection in im injection the volume should not exceed should not exceed 4 ml at one side next question question number 14 Injection given in subarachnoid space. Injection which is given in subarachnoid space is called intra-arterial injection, intra-thecal injection, hypodermis, intra-articular injection. The correct answer for this question is in subarachnoid space injection given is intra-thecal injection. Intra-thecal injection. we will move to the next question question number 15 and the last question of this video intradermal injection intradermal injections are given to which side sub subcutaneous tissue 
uh, epidermis, dermis, between dermis and epidermis. Intradermal injections are given to between dermis and epidermis. The correct answer for this question is option D. Intradermal injections are given to between dermis and epidermis. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you are watching this uh, channel, first of all, you just subscribe the channel and press the bell button. You will get the notification whenever I upload new videos. Thank you.